Okay, I'm doing a haul video today just because I've got quite a lot of stuff recently and I thought I'd just show you what I got. And also I've tried to put wear quite a lot of it today just so I can show it better. So I will start off with the brushes I ordered and I tried to order the Laura Luke brushes. I ordered the full set but some of them were out of stock. It was pretty much all the eye brushes that were out of stock. So they gave me a refund and I'm just going to try and get them when they're next in stock I guess. But the four brushes that came today, uh, the first one is the powder brush. You can see the say Lauren Luke on the handle there. And it's just a big fluffy brush. And I use this today to apply my powder. And what I like about it is that it's flat instead of being kind of rounded. So it's easier just to press the powder into your skin. Instead of having to buff it because that can move your foundation. Uh, the next one is the, I think this is called a contour brush or dome contour brush, something like that. Um, and it's nice and small so you can get right underneath the hollows of your cheeks. And also it's quite good for getting down the sides of the nose. But you could also use this for applying blush as well or highlighter. So yeah, that's nice and soft. The foundation brush. I really like because I don't like the typical paddle foundation brush. The only brushes I use to, or the only things I use to apply my foundation with, is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and the Beauty Blender. I don't like the normal foundation brush just because it doesn't blend into the skin. You have to kind of wipe it down the skin, and I don't feel like it really gets into the skin. It looks like a mask over your face. But because this one is domed, I just applied it like I would apply my foundation with the buffing brush. So I just worked it into the skin. So I really like this brush and it will be going with the brushes I used to apply my foundation. And the last brush I got was the angled eyeliner brush. Which I used this morning to fill in my eyebrows with. Um, I'll probably try it with eyeliner next. But it's just a really fine stiff brush. Ideal for eyeliner or eyebrows or even taking shadow underneath the lower lash line. So yeah, that's a nice brush. Uh, the next things I ordered were from cutecosmetics.co.uk. Uh, I only got two things from there, and they are the OCC Lip Tars. Um, this first colour I got is the one I've got on my lips now, and it's called Lydia. I'll just zoom in to show you that better. Okay, so this is the Lydia Lip Tart. This is with two layers of it. You can only layer one if you want, and it comes out a bit more sheer, a bit more this colour rather than a darker colour and then the next one I got is called Black Dahlia and it's not black it is red so when it comes out it looks black and then if we just shear it out I think it's called on the website they say it's the blackish red um, and these smell really nice they smell kind of minty but yeah those are the only two things I got off cutecosmetics.co.uk the next things I got were the Divaderm Lash Extender and the Mascara Duo. So they just look like this. And it's just a mascara and then the lash extender. And I've got these on today and to be honest, I don't really like them. Um, I'll zoom in and show you. Now I've got three coats of the mascara and one coat of this. And I could probably get fuller lashes just with one coat of my L'Oreal Telescopic. I mean on the bottom I've got Rimmel the Max. And my bottom ones look fuller with one coat than these with four coats. But what this is, basically this is just a mascara. You don't have to use this specific mascara with the lash extender. But these just came in a kit so I bought the kit. Um, but what this is, it's just like eyelashes in a bottle basically. And it's very messy, so you have to be careful. But if you look on the brush, there's tiny little hairs. If I just run it across that, you can see. And they fall all down your face. But yeah, like I said, I don't think it's that great because I can get better results with mascara than with this. So I don't know how often I'll use it. Or well, I might try it with a mascara I already have. Um, instead of with the mascara that comes with this. The next place I got some stuff off is Daniel Sandler. Um, they had quite a few good offers on at the last weekend. 
So the first thing I got, the reason I went to that is because I saw the offer for the watercolour blush. This one's in the colour Spicy. And it's like a corally, shimmery, peachy colour. And I've got that on my cheeks now. And then that came as an offer with the watercolour brush um, which you used to apply these blushes with. But I think it could also be used to apply foundation. When it came, I just thought, I don't know, it looks more like a foundation brush today, to me. Um, but yeah, this is basically just a water and you shake it up and you apply it on the cheeks and it looks, you know, natural because it blends in really well. But this is the colour. And they have these on offer together, so I like these at the minute, as far as what I've seen. And the other things I got from Daniel Sander was I got two concealers. This is the Camo Cover Concealer. And this is in shade 1. And this is a concealer for the face. Because it's quite a thick consistency. And this is the palest shade they do. And it matches me pretty well. And then... With the concealer, you get a free concealer brush as well. Uh, so I'll just show you the brush. So this is the concealer brush. It's just a really tiny synthetic head brush. Which you could also use for applying cream eyeshadows if you wanted to. Because it's synthetic. So sometimes cream products can damage the real hair brushes. So this could also be used for cream shadow. And then I got another concealer. Which the label started to off of when I got it. This is the Hide It Concealer and this is a brightening concealer for under the eyes. This again is in shade 1. Um, I've got it on today and this is probably the first concealer I've found that actually lightens under the eyes because I'm so fair naturally. Like I use my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and that just matches my skin. It might even be a tiny bit dark for my skin to be honest and I quite like the bright under eye look. So this is the first concealer I've actually tried, which gives me that bright under eyed look. Um, it's got quite good coverage, but it's not as liquidy as you'd expect. It's quite creamy, quite thick, and I find it hard to blend in with a brush. Today I just use my fingers just to blend it in. Um, but it dries quite matte, you don't have to use a powder with it, I did anyway. But I quite like this concealer as far as I see. And then the last things I got were just from Superdrug, I just went to Superdrug. So I bought another one of my Rummel Stay Matte Powders, which I've got on today, but my other one, my other one's running out. This is just my favourite powder. This is in Transparent. Um, and just got that because my other one's running out. And then I wanted to try a new foundation, and this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I wanted to try this because, of, because I've heard a lot of people talking about it. I know Nicole Guerrero loves it. Um, and I got the shade... W1 Golden Ivory, which is the yellow, to yellow toned palest shade. They have N1, which is the neutral ivory, and then um, C1, which is rose ivory, which is the pink undertone. But I got the yellow one. Um, I think I'm going to have to try this foundation again, maybe in summer, because at the minute, in winter your skin always gets a bit dry. I still didn't have dry skin, I'd say my skin was still normal top combination but it seemed to cling to any tiny little dry patches I had um, and it sunk into pores around here so I think I'm going to try this again in summer maybe when my skin's a bit oilier but it gives quite good coverage um, and the colour did match quite well but yeah I think this would be better for someone with oily skin while I was in Superdrug, I noticed they had an, a couple new shades of the colour tattoos that I didn't already have. I only picked up one, and the shade I picked up was Light in Purple, which to me looks more blue. But it's just like an iridescent, bluey, silver, duotin type colour. And I've got that all over my lid today. So that's the colour across my lid. And I had to layer this a couple of times to get a good colour payoff. But it's like all the other colour tattoos. I really like the colour tattoos and this one's no different. It's a really nice light blue colour. It's just weird out of the quality purple. But yeah, I really like this colour tattoo and I'll probably be wearing it a lot in the summer. I picked up two 
more Maybelline gel eyeliners because I love my black one, it's my favourite one. And I got the purple one which is called Ultraviolet. And it's just like a bright purple colour. Okay, so that's the purple one, just on the side of my hand there. And the other shade I got is called Black Gold and it's kind of like a khaki green colour. But it has quite a bit of shimmer in it. And that is the, that one there. You can't really see the colour right now. But it's just like a green with gold shimmer shot through it. Then the last thing I got from Superdrug was just a lipstick I've been wanting for a while. It is the Revlon, what are they called? Super Lustrous Lipsticks. And this is a matte lipstick and it is in the colour Pink Pout. It's just a nice pink colour. So I really like this lipstick. Um, I'll just swatch it on my hand again for you. So it could be um, a nude for some people. For me it'll probably be a bit bright because I am pale. But... I'm excited to wear this lipstick. And yeah, that's everything I bought. So if you've tried any of these products and you like them or you dislike them, uh, let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.